Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Mini Metro. That's right, we're back in your favorite subway building game, and we're going to be checking out the city of Santiago. I was just there a few months ago. Beautiful city, highly recommend it. Sadly, I did not check out their subway. I actually did go down to one of the platforms, but did not get on the subway because my brother and I did not have any cash. We were only traveling on credit card at that point. We were only in Santiago for a day, and it was our first day on the trip. A little bit ill-prepared, but that's okay. Came this close to riding on the subway, but didn't quite make it there. Anyways, let's hop into the game. Highly recommend you guys go down and check Santiago, Patagonia, Buenos Aires out. Beautiful, fantastic cities. Uh, definitely worth the trip. Once you're down there, everything is dirt cheap. Uh, and I mean, the flights are a little expensive, but getting down there and enjoying your time down there, pretty easy to do. Let's go ahead and jump onto double speed here, and we'll take our yellow line and have our yellow line overlap the red line like that. So each line now has all three shapes on it. Now, if you don't know what's going on here in Mini Metro, one, you haven't checked out any of my previous videos, so shame on you. And two, it's pretty simple. You just got to connect the stations with the different lines and then move the shapes to the shape they want to go to. Circles to circles, squares to squares, things like that. It is a very easy game to learn. If you uh, just listen to me there, then you know exactly what you're supposed to do. Downside is things get pretty hectic. And if you have watched any of our previous episodes, uh, the last time we were in Manila and then we were in Sao Paulo, um, you know that uh, these stations, oh no, sorry, we were in Seoul last time. Things get crazy and they get crazy quickly. So sit down, buckle up, and get ready for the subway ride of your life. All right, we got another triangle spawning there. We'll have the yellow line hit that triangle. All right, we're doing pretty good. End of the week here, we'll get our prizes. We'll take the, uh, let's take the carriage. So we got an extra train, extra subway, and a carriage. And let's go ahead and put that carriage on. Let's put the carriage on the red line because those are pretty close stations. And then let's go ahead and put this train on the yellow line. And we're going to have the yellow line extend out here. And we'll also have the brown line extend out to this circle as well. If we have anything spawn in this northwest corner, that will be the red line's problem. And there we go. I just spoke into existence. That red line will pick up that circle. About halfway through week two, 64, 65 people moved. Cruising right along here, doing pretty well. Uh, and we'll have the brown line pick that circle up there. The downside is we do have three circles in a row on the brown line. So hopefully a triangle or a square or some other shape spawns here soon that we can get the brown line involved in. We do have our first special shape spawning this diamond up here. We'll have the red line swing up there and grab that diamond. Uh, yeah, that should be good there. I like that. So any of the diamonds coming off the yellow or the brown line will probably be dropped off at the square. The red line can pick those up and head down there. All right, so we got this triangle down here. We're going to have both lines grab that because I want them to be able to drop those triangles off. And we should go ahead and pick up that tunnel. I think that's what we want. You know why? Because I'm going to go ahead and loop the red line there. And then we're going to go ahead and put a second train on the red line. I'm going to have it run in the opposite direction of the current train. So it's kind of looped around like that. And we'll have the brown line grab that triangle there. Uh, I'm not going to have the red line involved in that. I think we'll, well, I could drag it out. But that would be a heck of a travel from the diamond to the triangle. Maybe if we get more shapes starting to spawn on the red line, kind of in that northwest uh, top corner above the river we'll probably bring that red line around but not not quite yet we'll leave it as it is all right now the red line has four circles in a row not ideal but uh that's what it's gonna have to be hopefully with the two trains running in opposite directions and one of them having a carriage that should allow us to do pretty well but we'll find out we will find out Okay, it's Saturday coming up at the end of the third week, I think. 206 people moved, 210 people moved. Sunday now, so we should be getting our prizes very soon. Get the yellow line on that square there. All right, so I think next we'll put a locomotive on the brown line. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab the carriage. Let's go ahead and put another locomotive on the brown line, and then we'll put the extra carriage on... Um, we'll hold on to the carriage for now. Let's see... Let's see who gets crazy. Okay, we got this circle out there. We'll get that involved. I guess at this point, we'll go ahead and get that triangle in there just to break that up a little bit. If 
for the red line. Because of that, since we are traveling quite a bit, we'll go ahead and put that extra carriage on the red line. Ooh, we can now got one, two, three, four, five circles in a row in that northeast corner of the red line. Not ideal, um, but that's the way it's going to be. I guess I could do, no, because that doesn't break it up enough. I think that's just what we're going to leave it as. We'll leave the red line the way it is. It's got two double carriage trains. Now has all the special shapes. It has the diamond and the pentagon on it. Uh, so we'll need to watch that here soon. Maybe if we can get another tunnel, I can bring like the brown line up. Or if we can get another line. Ooh, now it has all three special shapes. Um, okay, I guess that is what it is. And we'll, we'll leave it as that. Uh, okay, that train apparently is just picking up all the triangles, that top red line train right now. We'll do a locomotive and we'll do, uh, do I want another line? But we don't have any tunnels. Let's go ahead and get, uh, what do I want? What do I want? Let's get, let's get, let's get carriage. And then we're, can I make it a three? Oh, we can. Okay, we're going to go ahead and make a three train. I don't know if we've ever done that here i don't think we have so now we have a massive red line train three carriages on it so it should be able to carry what is that 6 12 18 18 different passengers so we should be good on the red line now wednesday of the week 422 people 425 people moved cruising right along here and we got another square so let's go ahead and have the brown line drop down and hit that square and then what i might do is we're going to go ahead and disconnect this have it hit this square here and here that is two squares in a row not ideal but we do pick up this triangle so that'll help the red line out uh and we got a circle on the red line there so we'll go ahead and do that something was chirping at us but i wasn't able to see it quickly enough so i don't know what was chirping hopefully it wasn't that big of a deal 515 people moved doing pretty well here in mini metro go ahead and comment down below on anything you want to comment on as always i got pretty thick skin i would love to hear what you have to say Quality, quantity, things like that. That circle station is starting to fill up quite a bit. We'll go ahead and do locomotive, and we'll take the tunnel. And then let's get let's get the yellow line involved on this circle. Yeah, we'll do that, even though both those yellow lines are pretty far away. We'll have that red line pick up that train there. We got that calmed down for now. Um, let's do something like this. Yeah, because then maybe I can loop the, the yellow line here in a few minutes. Um, okay, there's a circle way out there. Brown line. Oops, nope, I don't want to do that. Brown line will pick up that circle for now. There we go. So if we can get another tunnel, what I'll probably do is have the yellow line loop around. That station's chirping. I don't know why it has all those squares there. Hopefully the yellow line train picks up some. It does. That's nice of it. Okay, so at least two of the three special shapes that I see are now on two different lines. I feel a lot better about that. 700 people moved here uh, Saturday, sometime in, I think, the afternoon. So we should be getting to the end of the week here soon. And now we have a circle way out there. This is where I wish I had another line. Uh, so we'll have a decision to make here at the end of Sunday. Do we take another line or do we take tunnel if we get tunnel? I do got two locomotives. Um, well, I guess we'll take line. Let's pause for a second. Let's go ahead and put another locomotive on the yellow line. And then we're going to take, we're going to do a bisect. We'll take this, well, I think a dark blue here to here. Um, so we got circle, square, triangle. And then let's just hit some of these circles kind of randomly, kind of like that. And then we'll end with a triangle there. Uh, okay. And we got that blue bisecting. Should I go ahead and loop it? I could loop it. Let's go ahead and loop this blue line. That to here, to here, to here, to that. Perfect. Okay, that red line's going to probably have to reach out and grab that circle out there in the middle of nowhere. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. It's going to pick up another circle there. So let's go ahead and get this last locomotive. Man, I can't click on that. Going on the red line here. And there we go. That red line train's going to help out a little bit. Not too much, but it will. Uh, yeah, we got a triangle there. I want to break up those circles, so we'll do that. Red line, not the most efficient line we've ever built, but it does have three trains on it, and it seems to be doing okay. Okay, we got a square that just spawned in. Brown line will pick that up. Got another circle on the red line chirping at us. Do I take the yellow line and grab that circle? It seems to be quite a heavy spawner. I don't know. We'll find out here in a minute. 
Um, he should pick up some squares. That'll help that out. Got another circle spawning on the red line. Uh, the red line's definitely going to need another carriage or at least another train here in a second. Um, we'll take the locomotive and let's go ahead and take the carriage. And we're going to drop the carriage on, let's go and hit play. We'll hit it on this guy here. Get that going. And let's see if I can put another uh, subway on. Where do I want to put it? Probably going in this way. There we go. So now we got quite a few trains on the red line there. Uh, and hopefully it should be able to take care of some of that for us. Brown line will pick up that circle there. A couple more chirps starting to happen on the red line. That guy's coming into there. That should take care of that. Um, okay, that's taken care of there. Perfect. A little over 1,000 moved. 1,099, 1,100 moved. Pretty happy with those results. This red line is getting rather beastly. Um, let's have the yellow line help out on that station there as well. And maybe that station there. Okay, brown line will pick up the star. And let's also have the blue line pick up the star there as well. That way it can help. All right, Friday here, 1,200 people moved. And we seem to be doing pretty well. Triangle out here. Let's go ahead and have the blue line pick that up. Thank God we're not in hardcore mode or we would be uh, not in great shape with the number of moves we're making here. But that's that's okay. We're not playing hardcore mode for a reason. A couple of additional red lines are starting to chirp at us, but those trains seem to be coming in and taking care of that. Uh, let's take, let's take, um, let's take tunnel. We'll pause. We're gonna have the yellow line drop down, hit this one, this one, and this. So that yellow line is now a nice loop. And I feel like we need to put another train on the red line. Is it gonna let me know? More than four locomotives in this city. So let's go ahead and do that on the yellow line then. And I want it to go this way. And then let's, since this one seems to be chirping a lot, actually we'll move him here. Um, we'll have it run like that. Um, okay, he just bypassed both of those. Not exactly what I wanted you to do, but that's, that's okay. Yellow line train, I forgive you. Okay. I'm beginning to wonder, do we maybe like... Do we have the yellow line come up and hit that plus sign? I don't know. I think we leave it as it is for now. The yellow line should help out the red line. Red line does have a lot of work to do, but it does have four trains, a triple carriage, a double carriage, a double carriage, and then a single train. So if we get another carriage, maybe we'll get that single train to a double here soon. Uh, it is Thursday, midday, uh, so we're almost to Sunday. 1,455 people moved. So we're doing pretty well there. Blue line can pick up that feel like the blue line is just one train, but it does have quite a few stops. Uh, this red line is getting overworked. I'm not thrilled with that. 1,500 people moved uh, Saturday here, so we should be getting some more stuff here soon. So I'm thinking maybe another locomotive on the blue line and then a carriage if we can take it on the red line. I don't think any more lines is going to help us at this point um, or tunnels. Uh, locomotive. Okay, well... Um, I guess, what do I want? I guess line, and then let's do, um, let's do this for now, just to help out the blue line, or the dark blue line. We'll get the light blue line there. If we get some tunnels, maybe I can have it overlap onto these three circles in a row on the red and yellow line right there. Um, yeah, that'll help out the dark blue line. That gives it some additional coverage. And it, it doesn't hit any of the special shapes, but it does get some of the other stuff. Let's just have the yellow line hit this circle and not the red line. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And then we'll have the dark blue line hit that circle. So that's really the only station it's responsible for. Um, okay, light blue line will hit the square here. Uh, and we'll leave it like that. And then it's also going to have to go out and hit this triangle right there. Oh, good. So then when we get two tunnels, we can move that. Uh, we might be coming to an end here, folks. Let's see if this red line train makes it in time. I don't think it's going to. We're going to be at like 1,813. Oh, we almost made it here in Santiago to 2,000. Close, but no cigar. That's okay. That was a pretty good run. I like that run. Santiago treated us pretty well. Treated me well in real life. Real life. So can't complain too much. Thank you so much for coming out and watching this Tooth and Scrubs video here in Mini Metro. I appreciate the likes, the comments, the subscribes, everything you guys are doing. I'm here for it, and I'm here for you. 
keep it coming. We'll keep making more videos. I know we've only really been doing mini Metro and mini motorways. Uh, I plan on doing additional games here soon. Don't worry. We'll, we'll start to break it up a little bit. This, this is a good game for me to kind of play and I'm learning a lot, playing a lot more with like Adobe and things like that. So thank you so much for coming out and we'll see you in the next video, my friends.